Finally, let's take a look at some of the different audio file formats that you'll be dealing with when you start to work with digital audio. Now, there's a lot of different formats out there, but it's good to think of them in two main categories. There's the uncompressed formats, and there's the compressed formats. Compressed formats use data compression to make file sizes actually smaller, and we'll actually talk about file compression in another chapter. The uncompressed formats are the ones you'll most likely be using when you're working with digital audio in terms of having editing software or recording to a format. You'll be working with the WAV file format, the A for audio interchange file format, and the Sound Designer 2 format. Now, compressed formats are those that actually use data compression in order to make smaller files. And these formats are usually used more for delivery than for the actual audio production process. When you're doing your edits, you'll be working with uncompressed formats. When you're sending your sound file over the internet or putting it on an iPod, you'll be dealing with a compressed format. So they're really something that comes into play after the fact for the most part. Down at the bottom here, I just have a quick comparison for file sizes for a three-minute stereo song. And you can see a WAV file with a sample rate of 44.1 and a bit depth of 16-bit, which is CD-quality sound, that song is approximately 30 megabytes. Now, an MP3 version of that same song, at 128 kilobits, which is considered good quality, comes in at just under 3 megabytes. So there's a significant difference in the file size between the uncompressed and the compressed formats. Now, of course, you have lots of options in terms of kind of changing the factors that go into determining how compressed a file is, but the point is there's the ability to have a significantly smaller file. So hopefully this will give you an idea of some of the different files you'll be encountering when you're working with digital audio. In the next chapter, we'll look at the digital audio workstation.